Well, good news for anyone who still needs a little bit of time to file your taxes. If you've tried to file yesterday, you got a notification saying the IRS systems were unavailable. They had an online glitch. You weren't the only person. The IRS spent several hours dealing with the technical glitch. Tonight, Fox 44's Noelle Mendoza shows us what options you still have. Tonight at midnight is the new deadline to file your taxes if you haven't already. It's the first time in recent history that the IRS has extended tax day. The IRS said that they had some serious issues with the transmissions of Americans tax returns through services like TurboTax and H&R Block. The agency says a computer glitch hit several systems, including those that file returns electronically and accept online tax payments using a bank account. I noticed it when I was trying to get one of my returns through and it was just being a little bit slow. Tax day is one of the busiest days of the year to file and with so many people using the system, experts aren't surprised it crashed. A lot of Americans wait until the very last minute to file their taxes and that's not uncommon to have a computer system that crashes or has hiccups because of over usage. Tim Blackmon usually waits until the last minute to file his return. This year he filed on Monday before the crash. Yeah, for about the last 10 years is usually been about the last second. He says the extra day will help many. I think it's good because there's some people that really need it. And if you aren't ready to file just yet, you can still apply for a six month extension. Anybody, um, especially people that owe, should make sure to apply for the extension. But if you owe money, you aren't getting off scot free. To avoid penalties, you have to pay at least 90% of your tax liability tonight. The kicker here is that if you owe money, you still have to pay by midnight tonight. So you might not have to, all the paperwork involved, but if you owe taxes and you know that, then you need to go ahead and, and make arrangements. Now, next year's taxes will be a little different because back in December, President Donald Trump passed the largest overhaul to the tax code in three decades. I'll have more information on that on our website, sentexproud.com. In Waco, Noelle Mendoza, Fox 44 News.